Well, hello. Guess what? Fall is here and that means we can be outside and enjoy cooler weather and make some beautiful planters to put together. I know I'm wielding a knife and that seems really scary. It is. But what I'm doing is getting ready to put some annuals in a fall planter. I love to mix it up. Some years it's fun to do something with all faux or dried things. Sometimes it's fun to do it with all annuals. And the thing is, when you, whatever one you're doing, it just depends on care. So things like annuals, I'm going to use color, I'm going to use texture, but you have to remember that this is a short growing season. I'm in zone five in Iowa, and that means that come September, you have a month and a half, maybe two months of time for things to actually grow. So you actually have to put a container together where everything's going to be filled in and look beautiful already. As opposed to planting things all the way in May, we are only going to have a short time. So you want to think of different things. You want to think of something with height in the middle. You want to think of something with color. And you want to think of something with texture. So there's all these different players here and we're going to kind of put them all together. So what I'm going to start with is just some beautiful millet. I love millet because it is very fall forward. It's very fall centric. Now this is why I have a knife guys. Sometimes this beautiful stuff they do for fall, they force it to grow so quickly that look at all the roots on it. That's not easy to get out of a container. So sometimes a knife actually helps because you can just cut off those roots. Look at that. That's how growing this stuff is already. And you can just take it out. The thing is, look at that. It is so tight. So this is what I do with a lot of my stuff is I use my knife to kind of cut up anything. Now, the only reason I'm cutting this up is because when something is so root bound like that is, it can't really receive water well. So if you can kind of just rip it up like you would your perennials, like you would other things that you plant in the garden, it's actually going to help it. So I'm going to put a few of these in the middle and then we're going to start building from the edges. I'm putting now in the Rudbeckia and the Celosia around all this millet. Now, like I said, I'm doing things that are really growing already. So you want to make sure they have really good base to go into. I'm, you know, roughing up the soil so I can make sure to fit them all in. I'm planting them much tighter than I ever would if this was any other time of year. If this was spring, I would say these aren't going to last all summer. Why are you going to plant them? But the thing is you want high impact for a short time of year. This is just a way to enjoy a different season. So you're getting in this color, you're getting in some texture and some fun. I mean, look at this celosia just, just pushing out from underneath. Rudbeckia is all in bloom and it has more blooms to come. Why wear gloves? when you can just create gloves with soil. I know, it's a good idea. So I'm gonna finish up by putting in all these little miniature, little kales. You can get cabbage or kale that's ornamental this time of year. And the one thing, I love it. I love the texture, I love the color, I love how it looks. What you wanna remember is, if you're a vegetable gardener, you know this, but just like regular cabbage and kale, bugs, worms, moths, they love the ornamental kale too. So they will eat it and they will create little holes in it. So you'll want to spray it with like an organic spray of what you'd use out in the garden, things like that. So I'm going to start putting these in and look how they're just going to fill in kind of like a wreath around the base. Because the thing is here, since we have such tall items, we have a lot of dead space here in front. So we want to pick something that's small and that's going to come over. I have a little bit of trailing too. So I'm going to put some of these in. We're going to finish up and look, it's like it's been growing all season. I'm finishing up with planting some Lysimachia. The Lysimachia will just kind of trail over the edge. And now, look how all the colors and textures kind of go. I also put in some red rooster grass just to give it that wispiness, a little bit of texture, a little bit of flair. Now, the one thing to remember is these are fully grown plants. So there's a lot of roots and a lot of root mass in there. So we are gonna need a lot of water right away for these established plants. And I have them packed in there because we want full on, full on beauty right away. We want the color, we want the impact, we want that beautiful focal point, and that means we're going to take care of it. So I'm going to fertilize it, I'm going to water it, because fall can be warm and hot too, and it can really dry out. So what do I hope you do? You don't have to do exactly what I do, but I hope you're inspired to try something, because guess what? The seasons are meant to be enjoyed. They're meant to be used for color, to enjoy what's coming, the new change. Have some difference in your garden, change it up, because guess what? You only get one of each season every year and you might as well enjoy it. So what do I hope you do? Share the video around. Let others see how easy this is so they can do it too. And as always, check my website, wiseguy.com for tutorials, how-tos, recipes. They're all on there. And until next time, 
I hope you get some color. I hope you enjoy fall. That's what it's all about.